U.S. stocks were mixed Friday but closed mostly higher for the week after some volatility while investors searched for a path forward. On investors' minds were new sanctions against Russia, higher interest rates, and inflation. For the day, the S&P 500 was up about 0.5% and the Dow Jones Industrial Average registered a 0.4% gain. Both the S&P 500 and the Dow logged their second straight week of gains. However, the Nasdaq Composite closed below break-even after the index was dragged down by higher bond yields, with the 10-year Treasury rising to a yield of 2.5%. Despite the ongoing geopolitical conflict, stocks have remained relatively resilient in the face of some bullish economic data and group commentary from the Federal Reserve officials reiterating the central bank's more hawkish path forward to rein in inflation. However, there is still quite a bit of bearish sentiment and money managers appear to be holding more cash than normal. But while volatility is not over, the path does point upward. And with the potential change in Moscow's military goals, any improvement in the Russia-Ukraine war could be a catalyst for an improved market. So, let's take a look. Two charts today, beginning with the six-month daily chart on the volatility index. And in the upper left, you can see the symbol is dollar sign VIX using stockcharts.com. Now, in the middle of the chart here, the price chart, you can see that the bottoms here in late October and early November were relatively low. Now, each time we had a step up and we had a higher low all the way through here. Now, we're just barely above this previous low here, but we're still higher. Now, I'd like to see this continue to calm down and break below this level here, perhaps even going as low as this there, which would be somewhere in the 16 to 18 range. But as you can see in the lower portion of the chart, the fast line is still heading on down. The acceleration hasn't really continued. However, I think it has a stable move on down with that separation between the slow line in red and then the fast line in black. So I think there's a decent separation that it's going to carry on down further, which means that this price chart here, this level, hopefully will go under 20. If so, that's good news for the market. Now, up here in the upper portion is the RSI, and you can see that we're at a 35.81 level here. That's relatively low going all the way back this uh, six months, but it's possible that this can continue lower or maybe just move sideways. And if it can do that, move sideways or move lower, again, another indication that the actual VIX is calming down and hopefully will break below 20. All right. Let's now go to our charts. And we're now taking a look at the four-year weekly chart on the spiders, the SPY. And the close on Friday was 4.52.69. We're looking at the four-year weekly chart because that gives us a bit more context, but also because it appears that the weekly is finally taking over the power from the daily chart. From that top there, you can see we came on down, bottomed and based, consolidated, and actually had a good pop up through the 50 and through the 20 EMA. But there's going to be some volatility, so don't be surprised if we come back down here and at least test the 20 and perhaps the 50 and maybe even lower. So, again, don't be surprised. The volume here is fine, certainly a lot lower than we were back in 2020. What I want to take a look at, though, is here in the MAC. You can see that this hairpin turn in the fast line, the black line, seems very similar to this turn here in early 2020. And then, of course, that one there in late 2018, early 2019. Certainly, this time period here is not similar to the current time frame, so we'll ignore that for now. But looking at this here, we can see, again, the fast line 
at that point there and the slow line at that point here. So there still is separation for some volatility. But the fact that both the fast and slow line are near the zero line means that there's still a decent amount of strength. Going back here, you can see that hairpin turn with the fast line moving all the way up through the slow line and then continuing on for a few months. This is very possible, so keep your eye on it. I think there's enough strength that we can do that, but at the same time, watch out for that volatility. Histogram is showing you pretty much the same thing into the price rate of change. We've done a little bit of sawtoothing here coming on down, so that's going to be an indication of some volatility as well. And if you go back here to this time frame, you can see that uh, the price rate of change moved right up, the fast line moved right up through that slow line, and only here did it have some sawtoothing. But I don't think it's going to be that clean. I think we're going to have some more volatility here in not too long. Into the RSI, definitely moving up, gaining strength through that midline or 50 line, and continuing on up. At least it wants to do that. Good news here from the stochastics as well with the fast line moving through the slow line. It looks like it wants to move and certainly the same thing there with the Williams. I think the Williams has been below this 50 line long enough and it wants to move up into that overbought territory. It's going to take a little while to get up there but I think we're on our way back here to the price chart and another look. Again, as you can see, things look like they have bottomed and based with consolidation, but I don't think the volatility is over with. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.